and to eat healthier foods, and to learn more about staying fit the rest of their life. And they were able to put together 52 grants. Because what Super Bowl is this? With two, right, Super Bowl 52. You knew it, good, good. So that's the group that did it. Now, I also want to introduce some very special people that are also in the audience. Our representative, Ray Dean. <laughs> State Representative, Fu Lee. And Minneapolis Superintendent, Ed Graff. So, one year ago, after they finished playing the Super Bowl in Houston, which would be Super Bowl 50, good, good, we started giving away money to organizations just like yours, to beautiful schools just like this. And we started just one mile away with the Lopet Foundation in Worth Park. Do you know where that is? Yes. And then we went way up to International Falls, the very tip of Minnesota by the Canadian border. And then we went south to Worthington, Worthington right on the Iowa border. Everybody know their geography? OK. We went west to almost North Dakota, to Wilmer, Minnesota, and to Red Wing, Minnesota, and to 52 communities around the state, because this is the Minnesota Super Bowl. But we ended right here with you guys, so you're very special. So, the Super Bowl is about playing a wonderful game of Super Bowl. It's about champions, and you are totally champions, every one of you. So today, you'll learn more about where your money is going. But right now, I would like to introduce our wonderful Senator, Amy Klobuchar. She is so good. proud, right? And, and you know, we have two teams playing in the Super Bowl. Do we kind of wish the Vikings were playing? We do. We do. But did we still love that game with that catch that Stefan Diggs caught? Is that not cool? Did you guys see that on TV? Did you see how, like, the quarterback, Case Keenum, he didn't think he was going to catch it, and he goes like that? Well, you know what that made me think about? That made me think anything is possible, right? Anything is possible, and that's what's so cool. So I went to the public schools, and my daughter Abigail, but before I got to the Senate and had to go to Washington, D.C., she went to the Minneapolis schools, too, okay? And she just graduated from college, okay? So what we're talking about today with this grant, we're talking about anything is possible. And what the, what they have done here, the Super Bowl committee, is they have given grants, as Maureen just explained, all over the state. But guess what school they picked for the most special grant at the end? Your school! That's exactly right. And they picked, they picked your athletic field, right? Because I know one of you, one of you girls or guys is going to make that great Stefan Diggs catch, right? Right there. You did already? Yes, I'm sure you did. Um, and so, because when we think about that, we think about a good school and good teachers and a great principal like you have up there, and that means anything is possible for all of you. You could be Stefan Diggs, but you could also be our next mayor, right? And you can be our next U.S. Senator, all right? 
So let's go Phoenix and Wharton Proud. Thanks, you guys. to you, our mayor, who looks, our mayor looks so young, don't you think? Like he looks like he almost could have just graduated from your school. So we're really proud of having our young mayor, and he's been really great at all the Super Bowl events, our mayor, Jacob Fry. Thank you, Amy Klobuchar, Senator. Well, how you doing there, Ann Watton? Bienvenidos, assalamu alaikum. You guys doing well? Well, they most definitely save the best for last in this case because all of you are going to get a pretty awesome athletic field. So I'm sure you've been thinking about what you're going to do on that athletic field. I mean, you can sweat till the Mississippi River runs down your back. You can kick a soccer ball, play some flag football, maybe volleyball, pick dandelions, jump in a pile of leaves. You can do all of that in this new athletic field. You can even do a little bit of a marching band out there. Isn't that right? Let's get a little drum roll for me, please. Let's hear from the horns over there. On beat two, unbelievable. Well, we are so thankful to the, to the Legacy Fund and all the work that they've been doing over the last 52 weeks here. We're so thankful that the Super Bowl is hosted here in Minneapolis. And all of you guys, all of you, you're ambassadors, by the way. Do you know what that means? You are ambassadors. So when everyone is coming from around the whole world, to Minneapolis, when they turn their gaze towards our state to be entertained for a few short hours, you're the ones that's going to show how great our city is. So are you going to show how great our city and our state is? There you go. All right. Well, thank you so much. Everybody have a ball this weekend. you the fundamentals. Let's see, raise those hands. Who has a good coach? Well, that's what we've been focusing on. Fun, fuel, and fundamentals as part of the Legacy Fund for 52 weeks. And we have funded over $5.5 million across Minnesota. Can we hear it for $5.5 million? here in Worth Park, and we're ending here at Ann Watton with one of our biggest grants ever. You ready for a big check? Uh-huh. So I want to thank our partners, the NFL, the NFL Foundation. We have so many of our funding partners here. We want to clap for those funding partners. That means they put money towards the $5.5 million. Let's hear it for our funders. want to thank the Department of Health and their SHIP program, our partners at Fuel Up to Play 60, Gen Youth and Midwest Dairy. This has been an unprecedented campaign. That means it's never been done before. 52 weeks across the whole state. And it couldn't have been possible without our partners and my favorite team, the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> We love you, Victor, 
and we love the Vikings. They've been an incredible partner all year long. And I'd like to introduce my friend and incredible partner, Lenny Wilf, owner and vice chair of the Minnesota Vikings, um, a chair of the NFL Foundation, and an important part of our legacy. He's on our advisory committee, so let's hear it for Lenny Wilf. Thank you. Proud to be here today to provide Viking support for the Super Bowl 52 Legacy Fund and Ann Watton School. I'd like to thank Dana for her outstanding work, and I'd like to thank everybody on the Super Bowl host committee. Thank you for having supported this Legacy Fund. We also have here today Viking players Ryan Quigley and Ari Aviante Collins. Thank you. And we also have our Vikings youth football coordinator, E.J. Henderson, a great former linebacker. Today it is our pleasure to announce the $220,000 grant for a new field here and for flag football and other sports. Plus, nobody mentioned this, a community garden. Again, thank you, kids. Enjoy the field and Skull Vikings! All right, I have said this 51 times, and now I get to say it for the 52nd time. Who is ready for a big check? We do such a wonderful job of creating a garden that actually fuels you in the fall. And with this money, we will also use the money towards how do we create gardens that can fuel us more all year round. So thank you again for our beautiful new theater field and enhancement to our edible schoolyard. Thank you. So. Now, I, I thought, I never knew that I'd be surrounded by such um, really important people ever in my life. I know you all are important. But somebody that I found out from my family is so important is the commissioner of the NFL, Mr. Commissioner Goodell. So I'd like to welcome him and thank him. So give a big round of applause for the person who makes this happen. Well, good morning, in one school. Good morning. This is fun. I'd ask the, I asked the principal when I came in, is this how you guys start every morning? Is this how you do it? Well, it sort of sounds like it. I can see the enthusiasm from all of you, which makes it fun for those of us who have been planning around this Super Bowl for the last three years. 
and a lot of important people have been doing that. And I think when we see the enthusiasm from you guys and the beneficiaries of all the work, it makes it all worth it. So thank you guys, and I hope you enjoy everything that's going to happen today and the facilities you're going to get. But let me thank some of the people, because we wouldn't be here without the Minnesota Vikings and the Will family. So give a big round of applause for your Vikings, because that's what's about. And also the leadership here. So we have Senator Klobuchar here and the mayor here. Without them, this event could not have happened. So we thank you for your leadership. And big, big, big round of applause because they have made our life easy in the NFL is the Super Bowl host committee. And you saw Richard and Doug and Marilyn up there. Maureen's here, Dana's here. Without them, we couldn't have had this event. And we're so grateful for all of them being here. So now, let me just tell you why this is important to us. So when we come in for the Super Bowl, we come in and it's three and a half years of work and it's a one week of events and one big night of a game. And then we leave, but we want to leave a lasting legacy. We want to leave an impact. And you, all of you are the lasting legacy. So that's why we want to focus on what's important to us, which is physical activity and fun. And that's where your new field's going to come in. We want to talk about great nutrition and taking care of yourself. And that's where your new garden comes in. And then lastly, we want to talk about character. What's character? Character is why you're good people. What's important in life? Doing the right thing whenever you can, which should be always. And always, always do what's in the best interest of your classmates and your school. So we're grateful to be here. We're proud to be here. We have a lot of great players here, AC and Ryan and EJ. And we're going to, I think, head out. We're going to break ground on your new field, or at least shovel on your new field. And we're excited to be here. And we hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy the Super Bowl. You all going to watch? All right. Have fun. Thank you. Okay, thanks you guys. You've been so patient and so, this is